Uh, there's a couple comments here. You told me to remind you about Matthew Baxley in the backstage chat. Let's do it. He said, if you're going to talk about sports, Washington, parentheses, slave owner, Redskins, parentheses, racial slur, are uh, still a team. <laughs> Hypocrisy, question mark? Yeah. That's a good question. Now, because I've, I've covered this in the past. Like, this was the Washington Redskins name controversy came up when I was doing Adam versus the man from the apartment in Virginia in 2011. 2012 time frame, yeah. Um, even when I was in jail and I was getting my news from the Washington Post or the Washington Compost, as Mark Levin would refer to it. Um, and I, I, I was confident in my analysis of like, this is a low priority. To identify with or celebrate a race, you know, even with a, a with a, with a, you know, if, if, you know, I can imagine Carlos Mencia joking about them Redskins, not them N words. Yeah. Like that in and of itself is is, is is a particularly loaded term. You know, and I would say, you know, for the, for the Native American community, for a lot of people, Redskin is is also but not by itself as a term charged the same way and i wish the n-word was demystified at this point like and it's not quite maybe it never will maybe it never needs to be in a sense on a lot of these cultural this because this comes down to a matter of like cultural preference i definitely have a preference against it right but is my preference so strong like and i'm already I don't give the NFL any money at all. Like I do not like I like, you know, the same way I boycott Hollywood, I'll download movies and I, I'm not as, I'm not like that strict in my boycott. It'd be like, it's kind of like me being a vegan. It's, it's really, I was really like, I boycott animal products that are unethical. Like and I, and I, that I'm the best vegan ever. I'm just a personal choice, conscious consumerist vegan. That means I don't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> like if you're serving meat, you're making stuff like, Okay, cool. I didn't buy it. I didn't order it. I'll eat it. You know, and 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 you know, it's just uh, you know my way of making sure that my choices are in line with my ethics. So, you know, I'm I'm like the same way with movies and sports. If uh, someone wanted to invite me to a football game, like I'd probably go. Just for the... is that a thing now? What's what's the status with the with with pro sports? I'm like I got to stop and think. It's June. What season is it? What sport? What pro sports are in season right well, now? There's the first comment we had out the gate. It's not football. Bob Outdoors. Your thoughts on NASCAR banning the Confederate flag? That, that, so I guess NASCAR is probably the support. Right? Yeah, I saw that. Someone, you know, it's, it's, it's like a hot cultural divide. Like, I, I kind of want to stay away from that. It was a story. Like, in that, it's the same thing with Washington. I'm glad you mentioned this together. Because these are two issues where I'm just like, eh, eh, that's... Mm. Low priority, like you said. It's ugly. Like, I would never do something like that. I would I would never wave a Confederate flag. I would never... Like, I get it for the, the, that for some people. And that there are blacks that, like, I don't mean to... Like, I don't even want to wade into this. It's kind of like George Carlin. I like to leave symbols to the symbol minded, right? If, if you really care about symbols, you're, you're kind of, you're dumb. Like if you really, if you really care, like when there are bigger things to care about, you know, are, are, does does the name Washington Redskins make the Washington Metro Police Department act more racist? No, no, mm, no, that's not a thing. Is it a minor? Could you go to say this is a minor reflection of humanity's dehumanization? Like, if you display a Confederate flag, are you being inconsiderate? You know, if you have it at home, 
and it's subtle and it's your family heritage, you know, that's one thing. And I would say the same thing with the Nazi flag. Like if you had a family member who was a Nazi and you want to have like a little shelf of Nazi member, people are going to like really wig out out of the Jews talking about Nazis, like in a positive light. No, I'm not. I'm talking yeah. about just like basic appreciation for historical <laughs> artifacts. Dear John, right? I'm not a Nazi. Yeah, dear, John, yeah, dear John, I am not a Jewish Nazi. Yeah, just making that absolutely <laughs> clear here. Um, so it like you know washington redskins nazi memorabilia and the confederate flag what do these things have in common stupid shit we should not allow ourselves to be divided over i can say that with certainty what do i think about that <laughs> like try i i feel like i'm obli i should be obligated to answer this question but like i don't my maybe my stance is i don't want to publicly articulate a personal preference that's just going to piss people off i'll express it in my private consumer choices and even in all of my relevant consumer choices to these three things like i will never ever go buy nazi memorabilia for my own historical collection right like if, if it's in a museum and I get to go see it, I'll buy a ticket and support the museum and like, cool, maybe that's an appropriate place for it, right? Washington Redskins. I'm never in my life going to buy a ticket to a Washington Redskins game for lots of other bigger reasons than that their name is the I mean, it was for all professional football teams. Now, they have a problem with it or I'm against people doing that, but it's against my values to give money to a manipulative system of bread and circuses and and social manipulation and pacification and militarization that modern pro sports are obviously a part of same thing with like the movies like do i care about you know the message of a movie no it doesn't matter i might watch it from an anthropological analysis perspective right if there's a super popular movie or a movie of political significance i might watch it in order to know about it, but I'm never going to go buy a ticket. I'll, I'll download it uh, somewhere for free. You know. That horse is dead. Cultural yeah. preferences yeah. and minor, you know, microaggression, inoffensive stuff. Yeah. Okay. Topic covered and smothered. <laughs>